So guys, the other day a Skyblock update released and literally a lot of people are very mad, guys, because their current farms aren't working the way they used to be. Pretty much, uh, if you had an old farm, guys, you're now gonna start getting oily crops. And pretty much people don't like oily crops because they don't sell for as much money as they used to. But guys, today I'm here to tell you and show you a design that will pretty much allow you to turn any old farm that you used to make before this update and turn it into a farm that automatically waters crops and does all of that nice and nice goodness right for you. So guys, just to explain for you a little bit if you didn't know yet guys i mean i did a little bit of a test here to see if watering the crops was actually useful and i mean it is but um pretty much guys if you build an automatic farm now once convey or once totems put onions on conveyors or any other crop for that matter they will turn into oily onion i don't like oily onion and guys of course these are gonna sell for less money i mean we're pretty much gonna have to implement this new item which is called an industrial washer if we want to automatically wash these things i mean pretty much if you put in an oily onion <laughs> it sounds so weird saying it uh if you put in some oily onions and some coal what you should see right here is that these are gonna get clean and we're gonna get some clean onions at the other end but guys not every farm can easily implement the, itself with one of those things so guys for example if it would go to one of these older farms of mine uh right here uh, as you can see right here uh here it would actually be not that difficult to uh, implement in one of these uh, things imagine if i broke this right here uh and i just made it so all of these conveyors pointed to one direction let me just quickly show you so for example like this right so let's say i just make every conveyor pointed to one direction then all i would have to do to implement it here guys is very simple uh, pretty much i just need to place one of these things and do that on every single layer it's not that complicated but guys uh, a lot of people have farm designs that don't really quite work that way and uh you know partially my fault i don't know we as far as we knew it was always the best to make sure that the onions uh, drop down as fast as possible so guys uh, if you would look right here guys i have this other farm uh, that pretty much there's no way we could do that same idea here i mean if you would look right here guys i mean i place some uh, pole totems to show off the items as you can see right here guys there is no way that in front of every Every single one of these things. I could just quickly place myself uh, one of these water. I mean, it'd be thousands of watering machines. It'd be super inefficient. It's just not a good idea. But guys, I have come up with a design that does work. I mean, if you would have to see, like if I would have to actually show you guys, like, like this doesn't work. Like I can't place it here. Like it would be a hot mess. Okay. <laughs> but yeah, guys, what I've made is something that can plug into any farm, guys. Pretty much any farm that has uh, its collection system in a single block. Uh, I mean, you could technically use multiple blocks as well, but it would not be quite so good. And it's uh, this design right here, guys. Pretty much... Uh, what this does, it is it uh, plugs into any farm, specifically the end of the farm, like where you uh, have like your collection system. And what it does, guys, it randomly splits up all of the items, guys. If you see right here, this is the one hole that I was talking about where you would collect items. What it does, it automatically splits up items into random channels. And then from these random channels, it will start smelting or not smelting. What am I saying, guys? I used industrial smelters because I don't have enough of the new things because they're so expensive. But yeah, just as an example, I used industrial smelters here. What will happen is all of the items will start getting split up. And that way, guys, we can actually just plug ourselves one of these things at the end of our farm and it will mean that we don't have an overflow of uh that we don't have overflow or any of that other dumb stuff to deal with so guys as you can see right here it's pretty interesting farm or it's a pretty interesting design because it uses an umbrella um this is one of the cosmetic items and it's a it's a pretty interesting one because guys it's perfectly curved so what this does guys if i would drop an item on the hair it will randomly drop into any direction guys i mean because i'm just dropping it from my hand it's not that random but if one of these items would come in from like the farm if i would drop it on to here for example it will like randomly find itself a direction to actually go into and as you can see it, it gets split up over multiple channels then guys there's also places for coal to actually get plugged into the farm as well so that way we have coal coming in because we need coal for the watering thing guys this thing has it all and let me show you how you can actually build yourself one of these and guys i'm not going to just put this thing to the test with a little bit of a like a little tiny farm like i am going to implement this thing into a giant farm that i finished literally the other day like literally a day before the update came out and broke everything but if you would look right here guys i have made a giant <laughs> i have built a giant onion farm that is supposedly or was supposedly one of the most efficient in the game no longer because it only gets oily crops and we don't like so i'm gonna have to do something about that so guys as you can see right here this thing is absolutely massive and uh, i mean it's currently disabled but guys as you can see right here we have a single channel into which every item gets collected so let me get some things set up let me actually get this farm started up again and then let's actually show you guys how you can build yourself one of these things because guys it is a pretty specific and particular build that you probably want to sit out on okay you really want to know how this one works so guys let's hop into it and guys also another thing that i quickly wanted to mention is that i am working on a better water onion whatever like the a, a new 
onion farm that has all of the new features implemented. But guys, I have been seeing a lot of outrage from a lot of people that are not happy with the current update. And I wanted to make sure that people don't feel like, you know what? All of this work that I put into this other farm is now gone to waste. Like, I wanted to show you guys that with a couple small changes, you can actually make your current farm work the same way as it used to. And um, yeah, I just wanted to make sure that, uh, you know, I, I got this video out before that one, okay? Even though I know the other one would probably have done a little bit better on the channel. I just wanted to make sure that you guys knew that, like, your farms are dead, okay? A lot of people are scared and very upset because they think their farms are dead. And uh, that is not the case, guys. It really isn't. There is easy ways that we can get around these issues. And it's honestly kind of fun to uh, come up with all of these new changes and fixes to uh, make our farm work with all of this new stuff. So, guys, let me place my totems back in. Let me get my farm started up again. And let me get this, this thing built so that I can show you guys that everything is all good, okay? Let's go! All right, so, guys, as you can see right here, I have restarted up the onion farm. And honestly, working pretty well. So, guys, as you can see, this thing is producing onions at a very rapid speed. But, guys, like I said, this will work with any onion farm. I will quickly show you my onion farm. If you're curious, uh, just kind of quickly copy it. It's a very old mod. It's a modification of an older farm that I built. But, uh, I mean, obviously, it's not going to be the best anymore. Now that it, there's an update, you know, we're going to have to make some changes. But, yeah, it's a, it's a pretty complicated one. Let's just say that. <laughs> but, yeah, guys, like I said, to actually build this, you're going to need yourself a parasol, which is uh, an item that you can either get from doing the challenges or trading. It's pretty easy to trade for. A lot of people probably have some. Uh, I mean, I'd say that they're not very expensive items to trade for. So if you go to, for example, any trading Discord or the specific or the actual Skyblock Discord uh, and see if there's someone that wants to sell you one, I'm sure you're going to be able to find someone. Guys, what I'm going to do, first of all, is actually going to clog up the whole the whole thing right here. So that way there's no onions coming down while I'm going to be building this. But guys, let's get started with our new design. All right, so guys, I've worked my way to be underneath of the actual farm right here. And this is where we're actually going to build this thing. So guys, what I'm going to do is I'm going to find the center block in which I'm obviously, you know, farming my onions, as you can see right here. If I break this block, there'd be a little bit of a rain. So I think this is the right block right here. <laughs> From there, we're going to go down quite a few blocks, actually. So uh, the, the more blocks, the more random it's going to be. But like anything more than like five blocks uh, is unnecessary. Let's just say that. Then we shall place ourselves an umbrella like this. Boom. And obviously, we want to make a little bit of a tunnel that actually uh, connects the umbrella with the actual farm. Then, guys, what we're actually going to do right here is we're going to create ourselves a little bit of a five by five platform uh, just like this. Just so that way we have a little bit of work to actually uh, or a little bit of room to actually stand on. Guys, we want to make sure that all of the items get properly randomized throughout this whole thing. So, guys, we're going to place ourselves a little bit of a circle around the base of the umbrella like this. And then on top of there, we want to place ourselves some stairs. So let's find some stairs in the inventory right here. So, guys, we're going to place two and then rotate it in two and then rotate it in two again. That way we have the maximum randomization. There you go. Just like that. Then, guys, I'm going to go two blocks out actually on every single uh, thing right like so just in the middle. So that way you start getting a little bit more of the actual shape that you will see once we're actually done with this whole thing. So guys, once you've put this in place, if you wanted to actually test it out and see if it's actually random enough for you. Uh, here, let's see. Uh, we're going to have to somehow break this block right here <laughs> and then uh, replace this stuff. Guys, as you can see right here, there's all these onions are randomly falling in all kinds of directions. Uh, actually, you could probably delete this block right here. Uh, so that way they don't like quite get so hung up. But yeah, guys, as you can see, there's onions coming to literally every single direction. And that's exactly what we want to see. So guys, what we're going to do right after that, guys, is we're going to build ourselves a couple pillars in every single one of the corners. So that way we can't have items going there because there won't be actual smelters there. We want to make sure that this is not an option for them. Just like so. Guys, what we're going to do next up is we're actually going to go grab ourselves conveyors. So we're going to place conveyors along the bottom of every single one of these. Okay, just like so. Boom, 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 boom. And this is pretty much where we're actually going to catch all of the different onions. Then guys, in, in the middle of every single one of these, we actually want to delete the two blocks that we just placed like so. Because guys, here we're actually going to go down two blocks like this. And then we're actually going to go out three blocks just like so. Boom. So you get a little bit of a hook down there. Blocks down, three blocks out. And we're going to obviously do this on every side. Pretty much everything has to be done on every side, guys. <laughs> actually, let me clog up the onion machine because it's uh, getting a little bit annoying. I have these onions flying everywhere. So guys, what we're going to do next up is we're going to place an extra conveyor right here and here and then go actually two blocks out uh, with the same conveyors down here. And guys, what's well, something important is actually that we make sure that there's no gaps like this right here because uh, otherwise things are going to get messy pretty quick and we don't want that. And guys, just for example's sake, I will actually be using industrial sawmills and uh, smelters uh, just because I don't have enough of the actual new item, the new uh, industrial watering machine. Uh, but I, it, it works the same way, okay? I don't have enough, okay? I'm sorry. Guys, at the end right here, we're going to place three of those things, as you can see, just like this. And then, guys, we're actually getting very close to being done already. So, guys, we're going to place a block on each side like this, right next to the conveyors. And we're going to actually grab ourselves a coal totem. Yeah, there they are. We're going to place a coal totem on each side. And then, guys, all we have to do to finish one, is the, one of these sides up is actually place a glass wall. Or actually, it can be any wall for, for that ma for matter of fact. But uh, I'm going to use glass because it looks nice. Right here. So, 
that way all of the blocks actually, or all of the onions actually get captured in that. And guys, you might be wondering where we're actually going to place the totem for the middle one. And the way we're going to place that is actually right here like this. So we're going to go out two blocks like this, uh, three blocks, oh yeah, two blocks. And then we're going to place a conveyor and a coal totem. So guys, what's going to happen is that coal is going to actually drop down from here into the actual sawmill, which is exactly what we want to see. And guys, just because there's kind of a lot of randomness in the game and uh, we want to, you know, kill some of that, guys, we're actually going to place glass panes right here, right underneath of the actual uh, middle one like this. It's kind of hard to see, but there's glass panes right there. Uh, just so that way there's a less chance that things get glitched out and all that sort of stuff. But yeah, guys, that is one side of this all done. Let me do this to all sides and then I'll be back with you all in one second. All right, guys, so we just got it done on every single side. And as you can see right here, it actually looks kind of sick. Like, I'm not even going to lie, kind of looks dope, man. But yeah, pretty much, guys, um, if you wouldn't already consider this, but we're using onions and we're making onions go inside of smelters, which doesn't really work all that well. So um, I can't physically show you it working perfectly, but I think it's safe to say that we can all see that the onions are being split. Like, honestly, you could have the biggest onion farm in the game. And if you use this device right here, they're going to get split up and they're going to get put into all these different lanes, which is going to mean that they are all going to be uh, not like overrun, like not a single washing machine is going to be overloaded, which is exactly what we want. Guys, all we need to do right now to actually finish this all up is later create ourselves a little bit of a collection chamber, which is honestly going to be very easy, guys. So guys, the way we're actually going to collect all of these items is very simple. We're going to just use ourselves a little bit of a staircase collection system. Um, I think this is something people are quite familiar now at this point with. Uh, familiar with now at this point. I can't even speak anymore. Uh, pretty much, guys, what we're going to do right here is we're going to pretty much create ourselves a little bit of a staircase <laughs> out of all things. Let's use stone brick. Yeah, that will do. And guys, we're going to pretty much just go like this, like a staircase down until we once again meet in the middle. Boom, 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 boom. And we're back in the middle. Wow. And guys, all of these staircases are actually going to have to be three blocks wide. So uh, you're going to have to go back in later and actually add a, uh, a, a an edge to this all. And then also we're going to have to add a wall to everything so everything doesn't just slide out. So yeah, we want to make a three block wall that's like around the whole thing pretty much. So, you know, one, two, three, three. You get the idea. But yeah, guys, once you've done this and you've got your items coming back into a single spot, everything should be all done. And pretty much then we're just going to be working with a single slot again. And from there, everything is quite easy. We're just going to build a collection system once again down there. But guys, I'm actually not going to do that because, I mean, I think it's too straightforward to actually have to show off. And uh, since this is not actually currently a working farm, I mean, I have one of these watering machines th that I will plonk in right here. Let's, let's just put in one of my, my only watering machine. Um, but yeah, I think everyone kind of gets the point of it. And um, everyone understands that uh, this update probably isn't going to be as bad as people think it is. I mean, I also just wanted to take a, take a second to talk about the update in general. Because guys, I've been seeing a lot of people actually very mad about it. I've been seeing people saying, the game is going to die. Uh, this is the worst thing that the game could have ever had. And guys, this is what I want to say. To, okay. Remember when you got to, let's say a hundred thousand gold in the game or a hundred thousand coins. That's the actual word. Um, I think it's safe to say that the next day you had a million. It just goes so fast. As soon as you have an automatic farm build, it goes so fast. You get rich, you get rich so quick. And guys, I think this system that they built right here is something that they've put in place to specifically combat the fact that very quickly after you get a little bit rich, you get mega rich. And uh, honestly, it's a little bit more fun to actually have to uh, have to make, build a little bit more complicated of a farm now. I mean, I personally don't really hate it, okay? What I will say, it's a very drastic change uh, and a lot of people are gonna have to get used to it, but I do think that the game did definitely need one, like something like this. So guys, that is my personal opinion on this. Uh, another thing that I do think, and I do want to mention as well, is that if, if this would have been this way when the game first released, like the first release date, if it would have worked this way, when you built an automatic farm, a, a crop goes on a conveyor, it's an oily crop. I don't think a single person would have made a negative comment about it because guys, it's something that's in the game already. I mean, you look at an iron farm, you get a raw iron ore, then you turn it into a smelted iron ore like manually, or you can do it automatically. It's the same idea here, guys. You can get a crop, uh, then you get an oily, well, you get an oily crop, then you can clean it manually, or you can automatically clean it. It's the same idea, guys. And I mean, I don't really think it's all that bad. I mean, it's it, it's kind of cool, I think. I don't know. I, th I like it when th stuff gets a little bit more complicated, but that's my opinion, guys. Let me know what you think of this update down in the description. I mean, maybe I changed your mind. I mean, maybe. <laughs> Another thing to note is that people uh, definitely made it a lot easier to build automatic iron farms than they were supposed to be because of just the insane amount of duping that happened. So there's like a million and one duped smelters. Uh, if that isn't the case, you get a situation like right now where having an automatic farm of this kind is actually super hard to build. And the only reason that the iron farms weren't that hard is because a ton of people just duplicated the smelters, you know? But yeah, that's just what I think. But guys, hope you had a fun time with me today. I hope that this helped you out and, uh, you know, made your farm feel a little bit more like life.
lively and strong. And I'll see you on the next one, boys. Hey, peace out, everyone. Subscribe to the channel. And maybe.